How do I add text to the timeline in Final Cut Pro? Okay, well right here we have uh, just a typical Final Cut Pro um, setup here. Uh, and what we're going to do, and I have my video already on the uh, timeline, I have actually two things of video. So to add text to it, we go to Effects, uh, we go under Video Generators, so we'll click on that. And down here we go to text. Now there's several different types of text. There's crawl, which means that it goes uh, in motion from left to right, or right to left, however you want it. A lower third uh, basically is uh, text, which you can put in the lower third of the screen. Outline text. Outline text is basically text that has an outline on it. Scrolling text is your typical, like, uh, credits, your rolling credits that go from top to bottom. Um, there's regular text, uh, which is what we're going to be using. And then typewriter, uh, basically what it'll do is it'll, it's another motion thing where it'll come out like it's being typed. But we want just regular text, and you can either drag it straight from there and bring it down here, or if you were to double click on it, it'll show up here and for example here, this is how long a segment it will be, um, you know, with in and out points. And then we'll have controls, any filters that are added, and motion. Well, we're just going to work with the basic here, so we're just going to go to controls. So we have the text down here, we're going to double click on that, and they all say sample text. And if you look over here in the other window, in the right hand window here, we have it saying sample text. So we're going to change that to... I am a text message. All right. And it shows up there. And we can change the font under font. So if we don't like Lucidia Grand, we can change it to, um, let's just go to the next one, Marker Felt. And it'll look like that. Uh, we can change the style from plain, bold, italic. Let's make it italic. We can change the size. Just drag it there. So that's getting really big. It's too big for the picture. So we'll make it uh, 59 or something like that. Um, the other things like origin is basically where it's centered on the page. So if you were to click that, if you were to click this little X, a little another little uh, hash mark will show up here, and you can just drag it around to wherever you want. We'll stick it more towards the bottom. Um, tracking and leading. Tracking just as uh, you mess with that. It's how close the letters are together in the words. Um, usually you don't want to mess with these things too much. Leading would be if there was text underneath this. Uh, it would be how close or how far apart together um, senses are on top of each other. Aspect is just kind of changing the aspect of it. And most of these things you want to kind of keep usually at where they're at unless you're getting really funky with stuff. Um, and if you ever want to reset everything, this little X button way up at the top here, that resets everything on this screen. So if we were to hit this button, boom, it reset everything. So you can start again. Now once your text is on the uh, timeline here, um, you can always make it longer, or you can make it shorter, and uh, yeah. So now we have text on the timeline. Thanks for watching.